Interestingly, the literature tells us that providing feedback is challenging, while learners also report that receiving feedback is difficult. So when talking to faculty, they report uh, that they have some apprehension sometimes about how the feedback is going to make the trainee feel, how it's going to affect uh, the relationship between the trainee and the faculty going forward, how it's going to affect the self-esteem of the uh, trainee. So they do report a fair amount of apprehension around feedback sometimes. And certainly feedback can be difficult for the trainee as well or the person receiving the feedback. We know that constructive or negative feedback can sometimes trigger some intense uh, reactions in the trainee uh, and um, sometimes people struggle to not take feedback personally um, and to be able to take the message that's there and kind of move on without it affecting them too much. Um, so difficult for both um, parties. Generally I feel pretty comfortable providing constructive feedback uh, to learners. I think one of the challenges I encounter is uh, determining what type of feedback the learner is looking for. Um, sometimes they're looking for reassurance uh, to see um, how they're doing at this point in time. Other times they're looking for more specific feedback around uh, a particular skill. And other times they're trying to see how they compare to a peer. Um, once I've determined the type of feedback that they're looking for, there's also a determination that needs to happen as to how um, open they are to receiving constructive feedback if that's what they're looking for. If they're not so open to receiving constructive feedback, it'd be important to determine um, and negotiate how best to provide that feedback to improve performance. A challenge I experience when I'm receiving feedback is that initial reaction of feeling judged and a very sort of personal attack almost. And that can really lead to an emotionally charged encounter and can really affect the way you take in information in the encounter. And it can be difficult to listen afterwards to the positive aspects of the feedback or the coaching for change that comes afterwards. Part of the challenge is because of the potential for feedback to be viewed as threatening or critical by the learner. It is valuable for all of us to model openness to feedback, to welcome opportunities for improvement and to show our personal growth mindset. Also remember the mechanics and delivery for effective feedback are important. And arguably the most important part of feedback is that it be done in a trusting relationship between feedback giver and receiver so that the learner can more easily incorporate the advice and improve their performance.